Can you please introduce yourself? Good morning, my name is Lorenzo Garagnani. I am a consultant hand and wrist surgeon in London and I'm also honorary senior clinical lecturer at King's College. How long have you been using Mac Trompezo surgery for? I've been using it ever since I was a consultant in Italy, uh, in Modena, at Modena University Hospital, back in 2011. Uh, so over a period of eight, almost nine years now. What may you change from traditional rotating and oscillating tools to piezo surgery? Piezo surgery allows for a more accurate osteotomy, and in fact I also use it in larger osteotomies, not just in small bone osteotomy. Plus, it's also extremely safe compared with other uh, types of instruments because it does not allow, it does not cut through the soft tissues, and it allows for a very accurate osteotomy without damaging the surrounding periosteum. Periosteum is the key when you do, for instance, pediatric orthopedic surgery because you want to preserve it to allow for bone union. So, uh, performing an osteotomy without damaging it would create a better environment for bone healing. Which procedures are you using it for? I use it for pretty much all procedures that involve cutting the bone. So I would say pediatric and adult procedures. I use it for small bone osteotomy, harvesting of small bone grafts, and larger osteotomies, even osteotomies of the distal radius uh, that traditionally have been done with osteotomes or saws, uh, but with piezosurgery are much safer because, uh, as I said already, it does not damage the tendons and the soft tissues surrounding the bone. After the adoption of Mactron Piezo surgery, have you changed the way you do some surgical procedures? Oh yes, uh, definitely. I, I definitely uh, completely changed it because now with piezo surgery I can also make smaller incisions, I can work in smaller and narrower places uh, and being it so accurate I can work also in pediatric bone with a lot of safety and a very small incision. So it allows me to perform a slightly less invasive surgery. Are there today surgeries that you would not do without a Mactron piezo surgery? Uh, basically, as I said, I use it for everything. So nowadays I would really struggle to use something different. Uh, so yes, the answer is I would not really do some things without it nowadays. It's difficult for me to give up. Thinking about your patients, which are the main intraoperative and postoperative advantages you have observed for them? Intraoperative is uh, the fact that uh, the continuous irrigation of the surgical site keeps it clean, so there isn't much blood involved and uh, um, also it prevents burning of the surrounding tissues, so heat damage of the osteocytes uh, and, and bone tissue. And uh, that's already quite an advantage over traditional uh, sores. Um, and uh, these advantages I'm not really aware of, only advantages. Is total surgery time same, more or less, using Mactron piezo surgery? This is a very interesting question because initially when you start using it, there is a minimal learning curve. So it takes slightly longer initially than a normal saw, but I'm talking about the first time you use it only. And then even after the second time, it's much quicker. And I can say it's just the same as a traditional saw. So uh, the surgical time for me is just the same as uh, it would be if I used other, other means. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Yes, uh, I think it's, uh, piezo surgery is an asset to what we do. I really think it's a significant technological advancement in the surgical field. It's safe for the patient, so I would continue to use it and I recommend to try it. Thank you very much, doctor, for your time. Pleasure, thank you.